and this is this is not the original cocoa that was brought in by Tetekwashi. The original that was brought in by Tetekwashi take five to seven years to fruition. But due to the help of the Cocoa Research Institute, they've been able to put the original that Tetekwashi brought and mix it and they have a new breed. Now this take a maximum of two years, two years to start fruition. Now, what you see on this tree is not a flower, is the cocoa itself. It starts this way in a flower form, this way, then it grows little this it grows and become tan like okra in green. This is not good. It turns green, just look like okra and it's very slimy when it's very green. Like this one. Like this one, can you see? This is grown. So it's growing. As it's growing, it gets the green form. From the green form, it gets to this. The yellow, the yellowish color makes it that it's getting ready for harvesting. So you can harvest. Now when you don't harvest, we have other, it look pinky also. So when you don't harvest this, it turns into It turns to this. This is not good. Yeah, that looks bad. Yeah, it's bad. It's not good. You cannot use this. So you throw it away. Now, you need also to maintain the farm. And so you all the time tend to the farm. Now this whole area is somebody's farm. So when is this, then it comes to this farm. Some grow very big, so you can see. Some grow very big, as you can see. Now the the seed is bitter. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> oh, you so warned. So you were you warned us. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So you don't touch the seed. Mm -hmm. So just eat the out. Thank you. Now you all know the black soap. You all know the black soap. Mm -hmm. The black soap mm -hmm. is from this pot. The black soap is from this pot. Now when is they've taken everything out, they leave it to dry, become brown. After leaving it to dry for some time, they put it together, mix it with the skin of plantain. And then they mix it with the cap of the palm fruit. Then they bend them together. And then they use it to process the black soap. And in Ghana, that making of the black soap is not indigenous to Ghana. So we call it alata 
Samina. Alata Samina. We call Ghanaians, call the people of Nigeria Alata for. So I'm sure our earlier brothers and mothers copied the act of making that soap from Nigerians who came and reside in Ghana. So they said Alata Samina, the black soap. This is one of the ingredients that produces the black soap. Now they are adding shea butter to the black soap and all that and all that. But this is a major ingredient for making the alata or the black soap. So we've been to the farm. You see the final product there. The final product is when they uh, bag it and then they put it on the scale. I told you, we don't, but in the cocoa industry, there's a scale. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. And the government give out the price for the cocoa each year. We have two major cocoa season. We have the lean season and then we have the major season. So the government come out with a producer price every now and then. And every licensed cocoa buyer must pay that price for a bag or a ton of cocoa. So, let's continue. In a typical area, within it also we have what we call Duncan. Cocoa. Yeah. yeah, we have cocoa yam. Duncan. And then we have uh, one of the cocoa seed virus. Cocoa seed virus simply means yams that are intercrop with cocoa. And this cocoa seed virus or the intercrop yam grows very big and can feel it can feed a lot, lot of people because it's so big. And when you are digging it, you dig, you dig, and dig, and dig before you get it out. And it's very sweet. Yeah, that can feed hundreds of people. Yeah, because it grows very big. Because they challenge the cocoa. So where is it? No, this man don't have any. Oh, okay. They don't have it. He doesn't, he's not having any in the farm yet. But in other farm, you see it. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Okay. 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 